Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I am, what is the day today? Wednesday, it's Wednesday today. I just thought I'd film a little vlog because I feel like I haven't filmed like a vlog in a long time. Um, and I have just a lot of like random stuff that I'm doing today. Uh, so I have a lot of like meetings going on and I'm doing laundry and like super fun stuff like that. Pretty sure I have to go to the pharmacy. So I just thought I'd film a vlog. I woke up at 2.60 this morning. Ugh, eye roll. Um, but I woke up at 2.60 because pretty much all night I was like in the 40s so I ate a granola bar and just like fell back asleep, um, didn't take insulin, and then now I'm waking up at 2.60. Thumbs up. Um, I took some insulin, I am going to drink a cup of coffee, and I'm going to try and go for a bike ride to get my blood sugars down, get my good morning going, and get on with my life. I'm already starting to come down a little bit. I'm 2.53 now. Um, I'm gonna eat a yogurt before I go and I'm trying to decide if I should take like all like all the insulin for it or maybe half or I'm not really sure. So that's before I go for a bike ride. I don't think I said that. I'm really tired. Um, I need this cup of coffee. Um, I'm gonna try and figure that out. I think I'm only gonna take like half. I don't know. Um, because obviously I'm only going to go for like a half an hour. I don't really have time to go for any longer. Since I'm only going for a half an hour, I'm going to go down like a little bit. Uh, I could take my pen with me if I need more. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll take half and if I need more, I'll bring my pen with me. Because I have a little basket on my bike. You can't even see it. It's like right there. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll end up like right where I want to be though. I think I've decided. Because I already have insulin on board, because I have like 3.5 units I took to correct for being 260 when I woke up, I'm gonna take half. So I think uh, just like a plain vanilla yogurt is like 20 carbs. I mean, I'm gonna look, um, but I think I'm only gonna take whatever the recommended dose, I'm gonna take half of it. And I'll explain to you more about like my lows last night and kind of why I woke up at 260. Regardless of what happened, it is annoying. But you know, you just gotta roll with it. I'm about to go for a bike ride. I literally only have like maybe a half an hour. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick. My blood sugar is, what is my blood sugar? 222 with a diagonal arrow down. I have four units on board, so I just took a picture to show you guys. So hopefully I don't go too low. I'm gonna leave the camera here. Don't have my GoPro, I'll explain that later. Um, and I will let you know where I'm at when I come back. Wow. I look really great right now. Um, just got back. I only went for like 25 minutes because I have a meeting soon and I need to take a shower. I'm at 144 with one arrow down, which is exactly where I want to be. <sighs> I need to catch my breath. Um, especially because usually I have like an adrenaline spike after going for a bike ride. So I'm just going to keep a really close uh, watch on my blood sugars this morning and kind of see what happens. So, okay, I really need to go get ready for work, go to my meeting, and then I will catch up with you guys after that. I've taken a shower. I feel much better. My hair looks really crazy because it's still wet. I need to get new pen caps, put it on here. By the way, my blood sugar right now is 84 with one arrow down. So I'm pretty good. I still have a couple units on board, as you can see by the screenshot that I'm gonna put like here-ish. What was I gonna say? Help me out, brain. Um, 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 um. Oh, usually I have like, I think I kind of said this. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm just all over the place this morning. So I'm going to try and like collect my thoughts. And I might've already said this, but I usually have a post bike ride adrenaline spike. So I'm thinking that's what's going to happen soon. Not sure what the two units will do. That's still on board. If I start to go low, I'm not going to correct it or anything. I'm going to wait and see if it kind of corrects itself. Anyway, I'm gonna change my pen caps, go to my meeting, and then and then I will talk to you guys. I'm also, I'm gonna take my long acting insulin now. It's 9.51, I usually take it at 10. So a couple minutes early isn't like a big, big deal. I go back and forth between taking 32 and 31 units. Um, on days that I exercise, I take 31 
because on days that I don't, I take 32, and if I take 32 on the days that I do exercise, I go low at like 3 a.m., which is what happened yesterday, so maybe I need to back it off more. But anyway, I'm not gonna think about that now. I'm just gonna take 31 units of Traceba right now. That kind of burned, but oh well. Okay, first of all, update on my blood sugar because I'm done with my first meeting. Um, I honestly don't even know where I'm at. So I'm 98. Um, I wanted to explain a little more about like what happened last night and why I woke up at 260 because I think I like kind of explained it this morning, but I didn't do a good job at it at all. Basically what happened is I went to bed at like one o'clock in the morning because I had a really late night last night. I was down in Maryland yesterday for some work. Um, wasn't around people, I was just with my family. I got home late. I was kind of in like the 60s when I went to bed. I didn't take insulin, I didn't eat anything, and then I think I woke up at like three and I was like 47 or something. I don't know, I was pretty low. So I had two applesauce packets and then I fell back asleep and Sometime later, I think maybe it was like a half an hour, I was still like pretty low. So I just remember that I had thrown like a granola bar, fig bar thing right next to my bed. So I just grabbed that and ate it and fell back asleep. Didn't think like, oh, I should probably take some insulin for this or like maybe I should only eat half of this. I was just like, I just wanna eat this and then go back to bed and be done with it. So I did that, ate it and woke up at like 260, 280. Um, so that just goes to show we're not all perfect. Even I completely screw up sometimes and wake up super high. So it's been a little bit of a rough start, but I'm glad I am don't have too much of a uh, like post bike ride spike. I think because I had some insulin on board, I didn't go up too high or I kind of ruled out the adrenaline spike. And yeah, so that's that story. Um, I think I have a couple more appointments today. It's like 11. Um, I need to run over to Best Buy and get a new GoPro because I regret to inform you that I went paddleboarding yesterday and lost my GoPro in the Chesapeake Bay. And I have, I had plans to use it this morning on my bike ride, couldn't do that. I could only get one at Best Buy. I have to go pick it up later. Oh, I thought that was my point. That, I thought that was an email saying it was ready. Um, but yeah, I was paddle boarding and I stood up on the paddle board and then fell off. And when I fell off, I think somehow it wasn't like hooked in, which I thought it was. And it fell off and we couldn't find it and we looked for like ever. I'm gonna see if maybe some um, friends of my family down there might be able to find it. Cause it's in a really shallow area, but the water is murky AF and you literally can't see the bottom even if you're in like six inches um so yeah so i'm gonna go get a new gopro because i'm going tubing on friday which i wanted to make a video for and that video will probably be up next week um but yeah i also i think i need to go to target i think i have a prescription ready i think that's it doing my laundry now I'm gonna make dinner tonight. I'm gonna play Animal Crossing because it's July 1st, so there's some new bugs and fish. Let me know if you play Animal Crossing. Literally, I'm addicted to it. It's like the only game I play on my Switch. And that's it for right now. See you some other time. See you later. <laughs> okay, it's like half focused. Um, my GoPro's ready. Still sad about the other one. And also really annoyed with myself that I even lost it, but whatever. I'm running to the store now to get it and I'm gonna also run to the pharmacy. I don't think I have to get anything else. My mask is in my car. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing a mask, it's in my car. And I'm bringing a little cup of water with me because I'm doing really bad at keeping myself hydrated. And I know that is like muy important, very important in the summertime. So bringing this, I'm gonna go put my shoes on, I'm gonna leave. Made it to Target, gonna pick up my prescription, return something, then go to Best Buy. Need to put my mask on. Hold on, let me just take those off and put this on. Picked up pen needles and some other couple things that I needed. Now I'm gonna go to Best Buy and get my freaking GoPro. I'm pretty sure at Best Buy I can just do like curbside pickup. Um, I don't think I have to actually go in, which is like super nice.
together at last, even though it's not the same one. I'm kind of still depressed, but I'm very grateful that I got a new one. Um, I'm going home now, gonna eat some lunch, gonna charge this thing, and then gonna go on with the rest of my day. Back home now, it's about 12.30, I'm about to eat some lunch, so I'm gonna take some insulin. I'm 124 right now, literally perfect. Much different than how I woke up this morning. Gonna take insulin and make some dinner, er, dinner, lunch. I'm having some leftover sausage and, my arm really goes crazy. Leftover sausage and sweet potatoes, roasted sweet potato. So sweet potato has a little bit of carbs, so I'm not gonna take too many, maybe like 30 carbs. Um, and give that a little bit of time to work and I'll probably eat in like 15 or 20 minutes. That really hurt. I'm sure I'll get a bruise later. But, that's okay. I just want to show you guys I got some pen caps from the pharmacy. I use the 5mm. I find that they work just a little bit better. I tried 4 and it didn't really seem to be working. So 5 seems to do the trick. It is 1.45 now, my blood sugar is 92. About to make a cup of coffee, cause I am like dragging today. I think probably a good part of me feeling so tired today is cause I woke up high and was up cause I was low last night and I didn't get home till midnight and just, well, it kind of all just, you know, compiles on and then you have like a really sluggish day, which I'm having today. So I'm gonna make some whipped coffee to try and put a little pep in my step. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Um, I actually have a therapy appointment at two via telehealth, so I'm gonna do that. But first I'll show you how I make my coffee. Cause it's actually really easy. First you need a tablespoon of hot water, so I just get it from my Keurig. I like to use the uh, Colombian, instant Colombian coffee from Trader Joe's. I find that it whips really well. Also tried the Whole Foods brand. That one is really good too. Um, and then I use Swerve sugar replacement. Sugar replacement? The ultimate sugar. Swerve, it's like unsweetened sugar. Con and this is confectioner sugar. So it has three carbs for one teaspoon and I put like a tablespoon in. Um, and then I also use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I usually don't take any insulin because I'm using pretty much everything that has no carbs. And um, I shake it all up in a blender bottle. So it's also a little workout. All right, it's a little hard to tell, but it's nice and whipped. So I will pour that in here and then add almond milk and ice. And also this is the color changing cup from Starbucks I managed to get my hand on. Hand, hands, hand. I managed to grab one of these and I am obsessed with it. Do a taste test. Super good. Sometimes, and I think I'm gonna do this today, I like to add this like sugar-free caramel syrup, so I add just a dribble, because a little goes a very long way. And that's it, then you just add ice. So I'm not gonna take any insulin for this, because um, pretty much everything has under like three carbs. I think the tablespoon of Swerve confectionery sugar has the most. Um, a cup of this almond, unsweetened almond milk has one carb in it and I use less than a cup. So just gonna add ice in and get hyped because I really need this caffeine. So like I said, I have a therapy appointment right now. So I'm going to quick use the bathroom and go to my therapy appointment. And then I think I literally have a meeting right after. So I'll probably talk to you guys in like two hours, closer to four. And I'll let you know what my blood sugar is and if I took any insulin. So I actually have about 10 minutes in between meetings. Um, I just finished my therapy appointment. I also just got a notification that my blood sugar is a little high. I'm 182, so I'm gonna take a little correction. Still working on my coffee. And then, um, go to my next meeting. 
It's not telling me to take any insulin, but I am gonna take like three units. Good to go. So I actually messed up. Well, I didn't mess up, but my meeting, I thought I had a meeting at three and I'm not sure why I'm saying it like this, but it's actually at four, so in an hour. So I have an hour in between meetings. I'm just gonna hang out, catch up on some emails and keep doing my laundry. So this is kind of an all over the place vlog, but you know, I just thought it'd be fun to make. It's four o'clock, I'm about to do my last meeting of the day, and my blood sugar is 168, so it's kind of coming down, it kind of stayed in the 180s a little bit, but that's okay, anything is better than what it was this morning, that was kind of a show. I'm gonna go to my meeting, and then I'm gonna be done for the day. A little bit of a change of plans, I ordered something again from Best Buy, a little floaty, but this time my GoPro floats and doesn't sink to the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay. Face. So I'm gonna go pick that up now. I am done with work and my blood sugar is 153, I think. 145. So I'm gonna go do that. It's the contactless pickup order and then I'm gonna come home and just hang out for the rest of the night. So I'm just sitting in my car because that's what's like fun, you know, when you get back from somewhere. Um, my trip to Best Buy was a huge fail because I thought I got an email that said, <laughs> that said it was ready. But really I got an email that said it was out of stock and I only realized it when I got there. Had to order one on Amazon and I don't think it's gonna get here for a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna go inside now and just like chill out. 6.30, I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm making chicken fajita roll-ups. So I'm going to cut up these peppers. I've had chicken marinating for like 24 hours, a little less than and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I don't think I'm making anything else on the side with that. I think I'm just gonna eat the chicken nugget. The, not chicken nuggets, chicken fajita roll-ups. Okay, whatever. Oh, also my blood sugar is 151. It didn't really come down that much. It didn't come down that much, but it didn't go up that much, so that's kinda nice. I have about 11 minutes and 24 seconds left on my dinner, so I'm gonna take some insulin now. Oh, uh, my pen is somewhere. I don't have my glasses on so I can't see. Oh, I found it. Um, I'm not gonna take a lot of insulin because that's not a lot of carbs. So I'm gonna probably take like 30 carbs. That'll cover the protein. Because sometimes I get a protein spike. Um, and I kinda wanna make popcorn later. I haven't really decided. So, I'm gonna do that and then um, eat dinner. This is my dinner, some chicken with some peppers wrapped inside and I like stuck them through a skewer because I didn't have any little toothpicks. There's two more over there but I'm gonna save those for lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna eat these tonight and I might have some popcorn later. I just finished eating. I'm honestly, ooh, I did not turn the oven off. Home cooking 101, turn your oven off. Um, I only ate the two, there's two left and I'm honestly really full. So I don't know if in a couple hours if I'll get hungry. It is almost eight now, 7.50. It is, yeah, eight o'clock. So we'll see if I get hungry. I might have, again, make some popcorn before I go to bed because I've been really into doing that and putting Old Bay on it. It is so good, but also really spicy. So if I do that, I'm gonna need a lot of water, which I haven't drank a lot of water today. So maybe that would be a good way to get myself to drink water is to make Old Bay popcorn. So I'm going low now, I think I took probably way too much insulin for dinner. I'm like 63, so I'm gonna have, I have those like Gatorade chews. I'm gonna have three of them. They come in a pack of six. Um, I'm gonna have three and hope it kind of bumps me up. I still haven't decided if I wanna have popcorn, so I'm not gonna make that yet. Um, but yeah. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I know it's kind of getting a little long. Um, it's also getting late. Oh, it's 9.15 and I am just chilling on my couch under a nice warm blanket, just hanging out. I feel like today was a little rough just cause of um, getting home really late last night, waking up a lot during the middle of the night from lows and then I was high most of the night so that also took energy for me. And then I just kind of feel like I had a little bit of a crazy day work-wise so um, definitely it was a tiring day. I know sometimes diabetes can really like kick you in the butt and I definitely feel like it kicked my butt today, but tomorrow's a new day. I feel like I 
say that all the time on Instagram, but you know, practice what you preach. Tomorrow's a new day, gonna start fresh. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I will see you next week. Bye.